What's up guys, my name is Tom, welcome back to another video Team back for the final last two question mark challenge of this 2020 season Today we are driving as Pietro Fittipaldi in the Haas at uh, Yas Marina for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix I posted this right after the real life qualifying And uh, let me know your predictions on the comment section below Lewis Hamilton is back, is back to this Grand Prix Will he beat his teammate Valtteri Bottas most like to be, you know, because uh, it is Lewis Hamilton But anyway, we're going to focus in the final last two question mark challenge of this season we had just a few of them because uh, we all had this situation of uh, the pandemic and uh, we didn't have um, not that many chances uh, comparing with uh, the past seasons um, comparing with this one to do this question mark challenge but I always feel um, good to make this challenge you know slicing through the field um, it's always a very fun thing to do and you guys like it so make sure to smash like scratch the new tip and more formula one content really much fit me to make more and uh, we'll see what we can do we're going to start in last place if you're not uh, uh, familiarized with this challenge we're going to start in last place and we see how many positions we can gain over the course of a 25% race so it is a short and sweet one strategy wise we're going to start on the softs and then switch to the mediums and that is going to be uh, a pretty simple strategy we're going to struggle maybe a little bit going through the field because you know this is a has but um, you know that uh, I always like a good challenge 5 red lights for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as Pietro Fittipaldi in the has and lights out and the way we go it's been a good start against Giovinazzi and we're already clean getting some slipstream on George Russell I believe up the inside into turn 1 I think it was Latifi, George Russell is up ahead which is back to the Williams team after a brilliant weekend on the Mercedes, what a move that we did on Latifi we squeezed him very aggressively, actually I think he slammed on the brakes, at least it seemed, look at the speed difference as we hit, almost hit the, the back of our teammate Kevin Max, that was so close to lose a bit of our front wing, now trying to find a room around outside of George Russell, it's been a great start as we go side by side through the first happen and we get the traction better than the Williams and that says I think 5 places gained uh, yes it is we are up into p15 so it's been a great start you must be aggressive in the in this last question mark challenge when it is on career mode um, generally you have to take a, a very careful approach because it is a long race but this is a short one as we make a late dive bomb on Carlos Sainz struggling um, London Norris I should say there is a number four struggling in these early stages as we are side by side with the McLaren but thanks to our straight line speed and we engaging the ERS mode or oh, don't to overtake we made a move and that says into 14th place so it's been a brilliant start considering that the card that we have at the moment I don't know if we're going to score points in this race I think points would be the objective for this video because it is a Haas and the Haas has not been the best car by, by far on the midfield during this season but uh, we're starting to catch this little train that is starting to be led by one of the Ferraris and uh, I have the feeling that we might have a good chance of scoring good points but it's going to be really hard it is Yas Marina it is a track where overtaking can be really challenging as we are starting to gain and gain on uh, one of the Alpha Tories and we're going to make a late dive bomb into the hip and look how confident we are on the brakes in this first stint it is Daniel Kvyat and we are into P P13 so these guys are struggling to make the moves and it seems that I'm the only one that I'm you know making these moves and that's the reason that I'm mo moving places and maybe I'm putting this Haas in a, a position that you know shouldn't be and it would be great you know to see Fetipaldi scoring points um, in only his second race he's been just the test driver for Haas he's not doing the Formula 2 championships so um, it's going to be really hard um, to score points we I think we need a bonkers of a race uh, where we need uh, just the 12 or, or 11 finishes you know but anyway we're going to focus on our race we're starting to gain on Pierre Gasly but I decided that I'm going to pick the lap early because I'm I was starting to lose some performance and I was uh, I wasn't getting the straight line speed um, enough to um, to overtake these guys and they're going to be stuck in each other that year while me I'm going to push in a brand new set of medium tires so hopefully and the undercut is pretty uh, powerful around here so hopefully we're going to make this move there he is the has the number 51 I modded the game uh, and the helmet in order to look more like uh, Pietro Scar the helmet I know that is red but I think this is one the, the best one um, that I could find on the internet so it was just a quick mod modification on this game in order to make this challenge but we are exiting the pits we're going to focus on our race we have the second this is was our first and last stop of the race medium tires fresh mediums and we'll see what we can do at the moment we are actually not setting uh, personal best so that's a little bit worrying as we go through the final corner and you can see that uh, some guys are already making their mandatory pit stops the guys behind are going to be pretty easy to overtake one of the Ferraris and racing points are exiting the picks I think we cleared the AlphaTauri and the McLaren so the undercut at the moment is working a treat and look
look how close now we are um, to the racing point. I believe this is Lance Stroll. And uh, can we dare uh, dive into the head, into uh, into the chicane? I should say no. We don't have the guts for that, and we have stick. We have to stick behind um, the the racing point. But it's been a good uh, undercut. There are still some guys. Their teammates are have to make their stops. So we can maybe we have a great chance of uh, getting into the top ten during this race. We have the RS, so it definitely is going to help us out. But uh, it's going to be really challenging um, to overtake this racing point because you know it is a racing point. It has a mistake at the back at, at the moment. It is behind one of the Ferraris, which it is surprising. Uh, maybe Ferrari is going to perform well um, during this weekend. It would be a dream, especially for Sebastian Vettel. That is going to be his last race for Ferrari. And uh, yeah, it's still Friday. I'm recording this on Friday and I'm already a little bit sad. But hopefully Vettel can bounce back um, in his career. I can say getting good results uh, with uh, the car that is uh, actually um, between him, uh, which it is a racing point. It's going to be Aston Martin for next season. And uh, the Ferraris were actually pretty close now at the exit of the pits. And look how close we are of this quartet formed by both racing points and Ferraris. Look how close now we are to the racing point of uh, Lance Stroll. We get always a good run on the traction zones out of that happen. So it's a very strong point for us in this last two question mark which is pretty impressive to see because the traction of the AI in the F1 games is pretty good. As uh, Stroll goes defensive, goes down the inside, he converts the defense to a move on one of the Ferraris. I think it is Vettel and I'm going to try to make the switch back. We didn't uh, make, quite, uh, make that quite work but the acceleration was pretty decent and we already cleared the Ferrari now getting substream of Stroll we have the help of the DRS we're running out of VRS by the way as Stroll gets a better braking uh, on the inside but we're going to have the, we're going to the long way round we man managed to gain more speed by going round outside and we made a double overtake so it's been a bonkers of a Grand Prix at the moment because we are in 8th place in this house and we are making the moves and these guys are quite struggling to make them because uh, this is a track that doesn't provide uh, that much overtake taking uh, actually I think it's more exciting this track this is uh, the only situation that this track is exciting I think it's in in career mode when he's in the offline racing uh, ju uh, just a one uh, one Grand Prix race um, I think the races um, uh, generally are super boring but in career mode they are always very exciting but anyway this is lap 9 we've been doing our race trying to pull away off stroll but it's not possible look at the straight line speed so close to contact as I'm trying to defend the position on the by taking the inside line that was very close to lose a bit of offering because squeezing so much stroll that's uh, Leclerc, it, it is Leclerc, Vettel is up, up ahead, so uh, um, I, I had a confusion with the driver names, but anyway, uh, Vettel, um, Leclerc I should say, um, managed to um, take uh, the pieces of this battle, and uh, maybe I was a little bit rude by squeezing the, that much uh, last roll, but needs must, we have to defend this position, we are in the points, imagine has scoring points in his uh, 100 race, it would be an absolute dream of a milestone for Haas, and uh, here he is, at least me, I'm doing in a game, and uh, um, it would be great to see um, them succeeding um, in this Grand Prix, in the real life Grand Prix, you know. But this is a, the, the Panoptin lap. We're starting to drop, and Vettel uh, and uh, Leclerc, I should say, Jesus, um, is starting to gain on us. And uh, I think uh, um, he's starting to get faster than Stroll because he's pulling away, and, and uh, Leclerc gets uh, a dive one. But uh, it was very late, so it wasn't that uh, um, worrying. As uh, Hamilton is leading Grand Prix, sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, and we lose massively the back end. And there he is, Leclerc is going to overtake. Take us and uh, uh, I made a mistake. I just tried to hold around the side, and then uh, do I have the brakes for that? Kinda because I go wide, but I'm, I'm still side by side. We cut a little bit the corner. Michael Massey would be furious with me at the moment. That would, should be a penalty, but anyway, we're going to keep on with this battle as we lose a bit of our front wing. As I have a little bit of a steer and tagged a little bit the side pod of Leclerc, but we managed at the moment for the time being as we're going to start our final lap of this, the final question mark challenge um, of this season. And uh, thankfully, I managed to pull away and, uh, and uh, Leclerc was actually um, starting to lose um, a lot of time to, to us. I think I don't think he had that much. I think he was under threat of the racing point and he actually was going side by side through the final corner but for us he's going to be P8 uh, by starting in last place as Pietro Fittipaldi in the house. In the real life it would be an absolute dream over result especially when he is the 100 um, Grand Prix for Haas. It would be a dream over result and as well for Ham Magnus and I would, see, uh, would love to see him scoring point in his last F1 race it is most likely to be um, his last race in Formula 1 but uh, anyway Mercedes wins the Grand Prix once again it is Hamilton followed by Bottas it is most likely to be that 
result and then closing the podium it is Max Verstappen so hopefully it's not a, bo a boring race where it's just a Mercedes 1-2 and Verstappen we in the final step of the podium hopefully we're going to have a very exciting race like we had at Bahrain and many other tracks over the course of this season but guys that has been the video uh, make sure to smash like scratch and new see plenty more Formula 1 content let me know your predictions on the comment section below for Sunday's race and I'll see you guys for a brand new video next time but for now that has been the last question mark challenge the final one of this season but for now it's goodbye